Welcome on to today's vlog. Please do hit a subscribe and a like button. Today I'm talking to you about my third ebook. I've brought it out. It's taken me a while to get this one done, I've got to admit, because I've spent so much time trying to get it absolutely perfect for you. This one is called Finger Busters, and there's a reason why I have kept those mistakes in the edit. I don't know about you, but one of the most frustrating things about playing the saxophone is the number of times you can play something perfectly fine and then your fingers feel like someone's tied them together or they're made of jelly or something. You know, they just don't want to do what you ask them to do and often it happens when you're under pressure. There are also a certain number of finger combinations that are naturally weak, and I always recommend um, this book by Dan Coyle called The Talent Code, which talks about, on a neurological level, what's going on inside our brains when we're learning skill, and why these things happen. And one of the things is, if you think about it, I'm trying to use these fingers, the pinky fingers, and pinky fingers in the rest of life don't really get much use. We sometimes call them the little finger in the UK, um, but I've got three uh, pinky workouts in this new ebook uh, called Finger Busters. I'm going to show you one of them today for the pinky finger and one on the B flat. There are 10 separate exercises that I've worked through, I've spent a lot of time, particularly last summer when I had a bit of time on my hands and I was just going through and I was just trying to work out what are the best ways to practice these. I've then given them out to some of my one-on-one -on -one coaching people, students, however I wanted to. I'm going to tell you more about sax coach as we get along, but kind of giving them out as exercises, tweaked them, got them just right, and now I can bring them to you. You can order the book below, the link's below. You can either order it from the Sax Coach website or from Cambridge Saxophone, both links are below. Um, the Cambridge Saxophone website is a bit faster than Sax Coach at the moment, I'm still working on it. Sax Coach is still in beta form, beta form, however you want to show it. But anyway, let's get to these exercises. So the first one is a right hand pinky key workout. I'm going to bring up a little bit of the exercise here. And what we've got, we've got E to C, E to C sharp, E to C natural. So you're kind of working around that lower stack. <laughs> then you do it twice the speed. Should have taken a breath there. And so on and so forth as you work through. You can see how the exercise gets more complex. Now we get the eighth throat triplets, quaver triplets. Etc. It's a bit of a tricky one once you get into the uh, triplets. So, all these exercises are designed that you can just do them with a the saxophone and the metronome. All my three ebooks are designed that way because often, you know, if I'm away, uh, if I'm touring, visiting family, you know, you know yourself, you don't necessarily have the opportunity to have your books. If you've got your iPad or any kind of other tablet, of course, um, you could then keep, keep this exercise, keep this ebook on there. You've got your phone, you've got a metronome, you're there. And if I promise you, if you practice these exercises diligently, in a year's time you are going to see a vast difference. You're not going to be tripping up over your fingers anywhere near as much. The second exercise is one on uh, B flat fingerings. Now, I've put it in the book, but basically, for those of you who don't know, you've essentially got three to four separate B flat fingerings on the saxophone. You've got the bis key fingering, so we go down like that. You've got what we call the side key, so that's A, bottom one down here, and then you've got what's known as front B flat or flute B flat, sometimes some people call it, which you can play by playing any note on that lower stack, okay? And you can also overblow the low B flat. Not quite clean that. That's what we're at. So I've got four easy phrases here. I say relatively. Okay. The Crimea River lick. All giving you a good B flat workout. 
And one of the exercises, one of the things on this exercise I want you to do is to experiment with the different B flat fingerings as you go through. So on this first one, you might want to play it with the side key first. You'll feel it feels unnatural to use the side key there. What you want to use for this first one is the bis key. Because by using the bis key, I keep everything in my left hand. Sorry, I'll have that over here. So by keeping everything in my left hand, I'm making it so much easier on my brain. Remember, read that talent code book. Uh, likewise, on this one, keeping everything in one hand. But of course, I'm right-handed, okay? Not a lot, of course, but I am right-handed. So my left hand is naturally weaker and not as fast as my right hand, because in the rest of my life, away from playing the saxophone or musical instruments, I'm not using my left hand as much. Maybe I'm typing a bit more with my left hand, but certainly I find that I'm not as quick with my left hand as I am with my right hand, so therefore I need to work on it. Okay, and then finally a really good exercise on this finger buster is to play along with some flat key scales, but experimenting again with the different B flats. Now I've broken my golden rule by not using a metronome. I'm gonna use a metronome for these. Golden speed of 60. <laughs> Each time, only you know whether you're changing your B flat fingerings, but it's up to you to be able to get those right and think. Yeah, you can play them quicker if you just use one particular one, but as you go through playing, you're going to find that you need access to those other B flats. And the finger busters are full of these different ideas alternative fingerings, working out on the palm keys up here, like I was trying to do on the Love Supreme thing, and um, getting better at that. But they all matter, uh, and getting around those finger techniques are all there. Anyway, the book's down there. I guarantee you, in a year, you're going to be a much better player. So take the risk, it's only eight pounds. <laughs>thing about March in the UK is you can never tell what the weather's going to be. Last week it was 20 plus degrees, I was out on this bike in my cycling shorts, it was fantastic. Today it's about 8 degrees, the sun's just come out which makes it feel a bit warmer, um, but yeah, it's a little bit, is it a coat weather, is it not a coat weather? Anyway, what I thought we'd do very, very quickly is do a very quick q and I'd really like to do some more Q&A vlogs, so please do post some questions below in the comments to this video, and I will make a Q&A vlog next week, I promise. But here are just some very, very quick things to look through. So Albert asked me, have you tried the Cyrus Clarinet Reads on Soprano? Albert, not yet, but stay tuned next week. I will be doing that. I also have sat on my desk the brand new Daddario Venn Read. There is a review for that coming up next week, I promise. Russell says he loves the explanation of three different types of soprano players and the differences in their tone and approach to the horn, particularly seeing the soprano as either a few octaves of a tenor versus an entirely different instrument. I'm going to have a go listening to people with those two schools for a thought for a while back. Russell, what a great idea and thank you very much. Jane asked me, thank you, bronze. Yeah, okay, no idea what you're asking me there, Jane. Bob Blues, thank you for the comment. Great to see you commenting back, Bob. Uh, Dolph, screaming sax, thank you very much. The weight loss kind of... Cycling, exercising, eating a bit healthier, and stress. There you go. 
Uh, and then the Kesman asked me on the Bill Clinton, Kevin Spacey, and me in a Blackpool McDonald's. Which McDonald's was it? You can watch the video here. Uh, it was Blackpool Central McDonald's, which no longer exists, apparently. Not that I go to McDonald's much anymore, having just answered the previous question. For watching all the way to the end, you get the very, very special code. If you are watching this up until the 1st of April 2022, you can use the code only a fool on uh, the ebook and you can get 15% off. In fact, you get 15% off anything on Cambridge Saxophone. That includes the Platinum Membership, which gives you 24-7 access. 15% off a one-on-one -on -one, uh, lesson, coaching session, whatever you want to call it, with me on the website. All the courses, 500 video lessons, all there on the Cambridge Saxophone website. But as I said, Q&A. Get some questions in there. Let's have a proper Q&A vlog coming up because uh, I want to do some more vlogs and I want some more ideas. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you'll enjoy that ebook. As I said, the Venn read for the Didario review is coming up next week and I will give you an update on those Sire Soprano reads uh, and the whole Sire reads. Those uh, exercises they were still on those Sire Arcane reads. Doing really, really well. Really impressed them. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you really soon. Bye-bye.